Hi everybody, welcome to you Move with Rachel. Today we'll do a yoga flow that has lots of twisting in the practice. So twisting is very good for your body. It, has, it aids with your digestive system. It elongates the spine as well as lots of detoxification benefits to your body. To start, I always like to keep some blocks around my mat just to keep them handy. If you do not have a block, not to worry. You can always get a plastic container or book. Something that will give you the height and the support whenever you need. Just place it around your mat to keep them in reach whenever you need them. I also encourage safe and mindful practice. At any point in time, if you feel any discomfort, please stop whatever you're doing. Do a quick scan of your body, only join us back when you feel ready. And as and when, if you feel like near a break or a breathing moment, please take chow or any resting posture of your choice. Make this practice your own practice, your own journey to yoga. Alright, to start, you're going to sit in a nice comfortable seat, rolling your shoulders up, back and down a couple of times. When you're ready, slowly find stillness, palms onto knees, gently close your eyes. Observe your breath, observe your body. Draw awareness to your breath, making a connection with your body. Every inhale, find length at the top of the crown, top of the ears. Exhale, drawing your belly closer towards your backbone, engaging your core. Rooting your sit bones firmly down onto your mat. I'm going to take a couple more rounds of deep breathing at your own pace. Perhaps use this time to set yourself up with a positive intention for your practice. The next inhale, gently opening your eyes. The next inhale, you're going to raise the left hand up. The left hand outside the right knee, right hand behind your back. Lengthen to inhale, exhale to twist. Every inhale, find length, exhale, twisting deeper. Draw the belly in, protect the spine, engage the core. The next inhale, hit back to center, raise the right hand up. The right hand outside the left knee, left hand behind your back. Lengthen the inhale, exit the twist. Something of broadening your collarbones here. Pull the ribs in. Engage the core. The next inhale, head back to center. Stretch your hands in front of you. Clench your fist. Drawing circle inwards. Warm up the wrist. Reverse the circle. Shaking it out. Palms onto the mat, roll over your knees, find tabletop. In your tabletop, spread your fingers wide to make sure that your shoulders are stacked above the wrist, hips are stacked above the knee, hands are shoulder width, legs are hip width apart, so you can choose to tuck or untuck your toes. The next end here, pull the belly down, sit bones go up. Melt the chest forward and up into your cow spine, a nice arch into the back. Exhale, chin to your chest, round the back, cat spine. Inhale to curl. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Shoulder blades are drawing in. Exhale to cat. Something about tracking your shoulders here, meaning to broaden the shoulder blades as much as you can. Lift your chest as high as you can away from the mat. Inhale to curl. Exhale to cat. One last time. Inhale, curl. This time, maybe you wish to go deeper. You can melt your chest slightly forwards towards the fingertips, looking high up to the sky. Then you're lifting the chest, lifting your heart. Exhale, cat spine round the back. Keeping the cat spine here, tuck your toes in, engage your core, pull the ribs in, lift your knees one inch off the mat. Engage the core for eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep pushing yourself away. Three, two, one, knees down, neutral spine, crown and sit bones are in the same line. The next inhale, raise the right hand up. Reach through the right hand. Exhale, thread the right hand behind the left hand. Lower the right cheek, right ear onto the mat. 
You can choose to stay here or walk the left leg tips towards the top of the mat. Maybe straighten the left leg back. Maybe even lift the left leg off. You can either point or flex your feet or your foot, sending energy beyond the toes. If you want to go for a challenging balance, point the right toes down. Then pull your right heel close to us above. Oops. Hug the ribs in here. For the next four, three. Two, one, very nice. If you're in a variation, slowly lower your legs down. Left hand in front of your face, press against the left palm in your right hand up. Exhale, release, tabletop. Going for the other side, inhale, left hand up. Broaden through the collarbones first, then thread the left hand through. Lower the left cheek, left ear on the mat. Once you're ready, take the same variation as before. Let forward balance into the body. Wherever you are, we have another two deep breath here. Yeah, pull the ribs in. Hug your thighs in. One more breath. Gonna lower the left leg, right leg back down. Right hand in front of your face. Press against the palm. Inhale, left and up. Come to that shoulder stretch. Exhale, release, tabletop. Tuck your toes, send the hips up. Downward facing dog. First, double dog. Let's pedal out your legs. Maybe do the cha-cha of the hips, so your hips side to side. Lift one leg up and down, up and down, rock forwards and backwards. Doing any movements you like to wake your body up. Any movements. Two more deep breaths wherever you are. Maybe you can move as slow as you wish, as fast as you wish. Slowly wake the body up. One more breath. Slowly find stillness in the downward dog. You want to spread your fingers wide to make sure that your either your index or your middle fingers are pointing to the top of the mat. Hands are shoulder width apart, gaze towards the toes, legs are hip width apart. If your heels can't touch your mat, not to worry, think I'm bending your knees slightly. Sit bones are high up towards the sky, pull the lower ribs in, broaden your shoulder blades, engage your core, support the posture. One more deep breath here. Keep clawing the mat, engage the wrists and forearms. Everybody gaze forwards, inhale, roll forwards, high plank. Stack the shoulders above the wrist, shoulders and hips are in the same line. Exhale, downward dog. Do not move your hands and legs, so this will be your downward dog distance. Two more times like that, inhale, roll forwards, high plank. Squeezing your bum, squeezing your thigh muscles, so you do not neglect your lower body here. Exhale, downward dog. One last time, inhale, roll forward, high plank. So remember your cat spine, ready for trick shoulders. Maybe this time shoulders go beyond the fingertips for more strength than you can. Keep hugging everything into the midline. Your core is working strong. One more breath here, keep leaning forwards. Now lower the knees down onto the mat, arch your spine like cow's spine. Lean all the way forwards, then bend your elbows. Lower your chest in between your hands, chin onto the mat, knees, chest, chin. Keep hugging your elbows into the midline here. Taking long deep breath, learning how to breathe in a compressed chest is like learning how to breathe in difficult times. Alright, everybody untuck your toes, you're gonna glide your body forwards and up into your high cobra. Tuck your toes, send the hips up, downward facing dog. <sighs> One more time, inhale, roll forwards, high plank, either go with knees, chest, chin. Or knees down or up for your chaturanga yogis push up. Bend your elbows one inch or 90 degrees towards the ribs. Inhale, glide your body forward and up into your up dog. Knees away from the mat. Or maybe knees up for high cobra. Tuck your toes and hips up downward facing dog. Look towards your fingertips, walk towards your hands. Legs are hip width apart for your first forward fold. You can bend your knees a little bit until your belly rests onto your thigh. You can stay here, send the head down low. Maybe grab opposite elbows. Maybe you can sway side to side, releasing tension in the body. Wherever you are, slowly find stillness. You're gonna place your right palm in front of your face onto the mat. So if you can't touch the mat, you get your block, place it under your palm. Bend the right knee straight to the left. Inhale, right, left hand up towards the sky. Broaden through the collarbones first. You can either stay here or find your half pine. Left hand, wrap it behind you. Find your right inner thigh or right bum. Wherever you are, you want to think of pushing your left shoulder blade back. Try to elongate and stack the spine. Sorry, stack your shoulders on top of each other as much as you can. One more breath. 
If you're in a buy release, the buy, everybody lower your left hand back down, left hand onto the block or your mat, bend the left knee, straighten the right in, your right hand up. Reach to the right fingertips first, then find half bind if you did so on the previous side. Keep elongating the crown forward, sit bones back, breathe into the back of the right leg. If you're in a bind, release the bind, everybody lower your both hands now, bend both knees, bring your chin to your chest, you're gonna roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Your head is last to stand up. Alright, reel up. Your head is last to recover. We're gonna roll your shoulders up, back, and down once you're standing. Alright, gonna stand on top of the mat here. Bring your big toes together to touch. Raise your hands up high. Exhale, sit into the chair pose, looking down. If you can't see your toes, pull your knees back. Think of the lower abs going away from the front side. Lengthen your tailbone, sit bones down, reach your hands up. Biceps to the ears. One more breath here, pull the ribs in. Exhale to fold. Inhale, half lift, long spine, flat back. Bend your knees, plant your hands down, step back, high plank pose. Stay in high planks for three deep breaths. Keep coiling the mat, lean forward, squeezing everything into the midline. Press yourself away from the mat strong. Exhale, downward facing dog. When you're ready, let's bring your big toes together to touch. Inhale, right leg up, three layers up. Flex the right foot, square your hips so you feel a nice sensation in the backs of your left leg. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, lean all the way forwards, aim to touch the elbow. Inhale, three leg of the right leg straight up. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, twist more and try to bring your thigh close to your chest. Inhale, three leg of the up. Exhale, knee to your nose, step in between your hands. Sir. If it doesn't get there, allow the right hand to help you. Left leg, one step forward, left heel down. So your left to the top left hand corner of your mat. Rise up, warrior one, facing the front. Now your warrior one, check that both heels are down, legs are hit with the parts. Never allow the right knee to collapse inwards, so press on the upper edge of your right knee to toes. Squeezing a lot into the left arm and lift your left knee caps up. So you engage the front of your thigh. Hands are reaching higher, release the shoulders, pull the ribs in. One more breath here. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, resting warrior. Stretch your body 45 degrees forwards. Keep leaning forward, a long diagonal line from your fingertips all the way to the left ankle. Inhale, rise back up, bend your elbows at 90, cactus arms. Pass the chest up to the sky, draw the shoulder blades in towards the midline. The knees, inhale, rise back up, exhale, resting warrior, maybe one inch deeper here. Keep reaching forwards, pull the ribs in. Now lower the left hand down, spin the left heel up, right hand up, revolve, high lunge. Put the belly away from the front thigh here, broaden the collarbones. Alright, keep the body where it is, just lower the back knee down, hug your thighs in, stabilize into the lower body first, then inhale, lift your trunk up into your revolved low lunge, still looking towards the left, right side of the room. You can choose to stay here, keep reaching your hands to opposite ends, or maybe right hand onto the outside of the left leg, left hand up. Send your left hand back, half your left armpit and chest towards the sky. Maybe walk your right hand closer towards the left ankle, going for a nice twisted back bend. Keep hugging your thighs in for stability into the lower body. One more breath here. If you're in a back bend, inhale, lift the trunk back up. Everybody, hands your heart center. We're going to hook your left elbow outside of the right knee. Once you're here, draw your chest towards your thumbs. Lift your gaze and chest up to the sky as much as you can. One more deep breath here. Alright, we're going to fire out your legs here. We're going to tuck the back toes. Lift your left knee off the mat. Pull the belly away from the front side. Keeping the twist strong. Keep growing your crown forwards. One more deep breath here. Still keeping into the twist, gaze down. Take one big step forward with your left leg or a few steps forwards. Bring your big toes together to touch. Check that your knees are in line first. Sit the hips down low, then twist deeper towards the right sides of your room. Twist the chest. Belly away from the front thigh, lengthening the sit bones down. Okay, listen carefully. We're going to unravel yourself. Inhale, lift the left leg up towards the chest as you stand. Once you're here, grow your hands up top, cactus your arms at 90 degrees, open your left knee towards the left side of the room. You can choose to stay here or draw the left knee closer towards the elbow. One more deep breath here.
squeezing the right bum, press the right feet firmly down. Point the left toes down, slowly send it behind you. Gently touch down, warrior two. So we're gonna check your warrior two stance that your ankles are directly below your wrist. Front toes pointing towards the mirror, back foot parallel towards the back mat. Pressing the outer edge of your little toes, keeping it nice and firm. Shoulders stack above the hips so we don't lean forwards and backwards. Strong gaze towards the right fingertips. Flip the front palm, charging forwards. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Think of the right hand back, right knee forward. So you keep the bend to the front leg. Lifting the chest and armpit towards the sky. Inhale, right leg up. Right forearm, right thigh. Swing the left hand in front of you. Keep the chest open, support the side angle. Pull the ribs in, broaden the collarbones here. Once you're here, we're going to find a half by the left hand, wrap it behind you. Either find your right inner thigh if you can, if not, right bum. Wherever you are, you want to think of pushing your left shoulders back, lifting your gaze and chest up to the sky. Elongate into the spine more, but keep the hips low. The next inhale, release the bind, rise back up, warrior two. Warrior two, strong gaze with the right fingertips, you're going to wing the hands forwards. Spin the back heel up, transfer more weight to the right leg and towards your hands. Lift the left leg up, slowly bring the left leg behind you. Sit down, right foot on the outside of the left thigh. Once you're here, right hand behind your back, inhale, left hand up. Left elbow outside the right knee. Once you have the knee on the outside, press the right sit bones down. Inhale, lengthen, exhale to twist. Keep pushing the right shoulder back, pull the belly away from the front thigh, broaden the collarbones. Keep lifting into the crown, into the top of the ears. One more breath. The next inhale, unravel yourself. Transfer weight towards the right leg. Lower both hands down. Lift the left leg up. Gently step back lightly. Move your legs into your hip width apart. Then inhale, lift the trunk up high. Crest and lunge. Sitting hips a little bit deeper, friends. Lower both hands down. Step back high, plank pose. Exhale, knees down or up for your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog high, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. Two deep breath in and downward dog. Every exhale, think of pushing your chest back towards the shin bones. Try to go closer to earth, melting your heels closer towards the mat. When you're really big toes together to touch, inhale, left leg up, three legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, lean all the way forward. Inhale, three legs down. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, twist more if you can. Inhale, three legs down. Exhale, knee to your nose, step in between your hands. Right leg one step forward, heel down, turn your right toes to the top right hand corner. Rise up, warrior one. You're gonna take some time to find a warrior one stance here. Just make sure your left knee is not collapsing inwards. Press on the outer edge of the left foot of the toes. Keep reaching the hands up. Lengthen the tailbone, sit bones down. Pull the ribs in. Lengthen to inhale. Exhale, resting warrior. Stretch your body 45 degrees forward. Inhale, rise back up. Cactus your arm. Lift the chest up towards the sky. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, resting warrior. One inch deeper. Go reach forward. Lower the right hand down, spin the right heel up, left hand up, revolve, high lunge. Pulling the belly away from the front thigh, hugging into the inner thighs, lower the back knee down. Inhale, lift the trunk up, revolve, low lunge. Same option, you can either stay here or go for your twisted back bend. Take some time to ease into the back bend if you're going for the second option. Lift the chest and right arm feet up. Feel the stretch happening into the front of the body, front of the right thigh. If you're in a back bend, inhale, lift the trunk back up. You're still in a twisted low lunge. Hands your heart center, hook your right elbow out to the left knee. Now actively draw your chest towards the thumbs. Lift the gaze and chest up to the side. Try not to lean too much into the front thigh, okay? You want to pull the belly in. Now legs are strong here, tuck the back toes. Lift the right knee off the mat. Still strong into your twisted high lunge. One more deep breath here, lift the chest. Now drop the gaze down onto the mat, take one big step forward, so a few little steps. Big toes together, knees are in line first, then exhale, sit the hips down low, then twist deeper towards the left side of the room. One more deep breath here. 
Unravel yourself, inhale, lift the right leg up with you. Woo, stand tall onto the left leg. Grow your hands up tall, cactus your arms, open your right knee towards the right side of the room. Knee go closer towards the elbow. Squeezing into the left arm to lift the right knee higher. Lift the left knee, caps up. Point the right toes down, send it behind you gently. Touch down, warrior to left side. So again, take some time to find your stance here, no rush. Once you're ready, gaze towards the left fingertips. Flipping the front palm, charge forwards, reverse the warrior, left hand back, left knee forwards. Keep lifting the left armpit up. Inhale, rise back up. Left forearm, left thigh, swing the right hand in front of you, peel the chest open, support the side angle. Once you're ready, right hand right behind you, finding your left inner thigh or your left butt. Wherever you are, keep pushing your right shoulders back, lift the gaze up. The next inhale, release into the bar, rise back up, warrior two. Strong gaze towards the left fingertips, wind near the hands forwards. Spin the back heel up, trust a bit to the hands in your leg. Lower the right leg behind your left foot. Slowly, gently sit down, left foot outside of the right thigh. Once you're here, left hand behind your back, right hand, elbow outside of the left knee. Pressing the left sit bones down, inhale, lengthen, act to the twist. So you can think of pushing yourself away from your leg. Twist deeper, pull the belly in so we do not rest and collapse into the spine. Keep lifting the trunk up. One more deep breath. Next inhale, unravel yourself. Transfer more weight to the left leg. Lift, press the hands up. Gently touch down the left, right leg. Bring your legs into the hip width apart. When you're ready, inhale, rise up, low lunge. In this low lunge, try to sit your hips a little bit deeper here. Lower both hands down, step back, high plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga, bend your elbows, one inch on 90. Inhale, glide your body forwards and up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ah, keep pushing yourself back. Very exhale. One more deep breath here. Alright, when you're ready, big toes touching, inhale, right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, twist as much as you can. Spin the back heel towards the right side, straighten the right leg towards the left side of the room, lower the right leg down. Once you're here, we're going to lift your left hand up towards the sky. You can choose to stay here or pull the right hip back to lift the right foot off the mat. Staying strong for the next four, three, two. One, well done, lower the right leg down, left hand down. Spin the left heel up, pull your knee to your nose, step in between the hands. Spin the back heel down, rise up, warrior two. Ooh, second time onto the right side, maybe you can sit the hips a little bit deeper. But never allow the right knee to pop too much forwards. Knees always stack above the right ankle. Lift the front palm, charge forwards, reverse the warrior. Keep the body here, the straight in the right knee, reverse triangle. Walk your left hand closer towards the ankle, lift the right arm, pit up. Now keep the body here, just bend the right knee, rise back up, warrior two. The right forearm, right side, left hand, wrap it behind you, finding your half bind. So again, right bum or right inner thigh. Now gaze down, we're going to slowly lower the right hand inside the right foot. So if you can't touch the mat, get your block placed under your palm. Wherever you are, you want to think of pushing the left shoulders back again. You can choose to stay here or straighten the right knee as much as you can. Doesn't matter if you can't straighten all the way. But keep thinking of leaning back. Melt your crown forward, sit bones back. Alright, everybody gaze down. Still keeping the bind, bend the right knee. Block or no block, you can place your fifth hands or your block towards the top right hand corner of the mat. I have no space here, so I'm gonna push back myself back, walk myself back. Press against the block, lift the left leg up. Flex the left foot, open the hips to the left side of the room. Bounded half moon pose. Staying strong onto the right leg here. You can choose to stay here or maybe challenge your balance. Right hand to your heart center. Wherever you are, I'm gonna stay for the next five, four, three. Keeping the back leg strong, really engage through the heel. Two. One, lower the right hand back down to the mat or block. Bend the right knee, slowly touch down the left leg back. Release the block. 
release the bar, rise back up, warrior two. Woo. When you're ready, gaze with the right fingertips, sweep the left hand, left you up high, crest and lunge. Once you're here, lower both hands down onto the mat. You're going to take your left leg one step forward, spin the back, heel down. Then once you're here, turn your left toes to the top left hand corner of the mat. So almost like a warrior one leg. When you're here, straighten the right knee, left hand inside of the right foot. Again, if you can't touch the mat, you can always get the block under. Once you're ready, right hand onto the waist. Open your chest towards the right side of the room. You can either stay here working onto your revolve triangle or maybe your right hand up towards the sky. Maybe you want to go for more, right hand can wrap it behind your back. Try to find the front of your left thigh. Two more breaths here. One more breath. If you're in a bind, release the bind. Everybody, right hand back down onto the mat. We're going to walk your hand slightly forward. So bend into the right knee. Transfer your weight towards the right leg. And your hands onto the mat. You can't touch the mat. You can always get the block. Place it under the palm. Lift the left leg up. Once you're here, flex the left foot. Square the hips. We're going to go for a revolve half moon pose. You don't get the spine forwards. Press onto the left palm, right hand onto the waist. Once you're here, twist towards the right side of the room. Again, you can stay here or maybe straighten the right hand up towards the sky. Staying here for the next four, three, two, one. Well done. Lower the right hand down onto the mat or block. Bend the right knee, gently touch down. Hands your heart center, lift the trunk up. Whoop. Left elbow outside the right knee, twist. That high lunge. Again, gaze down. Take one big step forward. It must be a lot easier now. Pull your big toes together to touch. Still keeping to the twist, transfer it to the right leg. Lift your left heel up. You can either stay here or maybe left heel close to the bum. Point your toes. Balancing here for the next four. Three, two. Still keeping the twist. One. Left leg down. and rub yourself. Swing your hands up. Check. Exhale to full. Inhale, half lift, long spine, flat back. Bend your knees, plant your hands down, step back. High plank, you can choose to stay here. Add your chaturanga. Or maybe meet us back in downward facing down. The yogi's on choice. <sighs> One more deep breath here. When you're ready, big toes together to touch. Inhale, left leg up, three leg up, down. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Spin the back heel down. Straighten your left leg towards the right side of the room. When you're ready, inhale, lift the right hand up. Again, you can choose to stay here or lift the left leg up by pulling the left hip back. For the next four, three, two, one. Lower the left leg down, right hand down. Spin the back heel up, knee to your nose. Step it in between your hands, spin the back heel down. Rise up, warrior two. Woo, left side. Strong gaze towards the left fingertips. Flip the left palm up. Charge forwards. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Once you're here, straighten the left knee. Reverse your right angle. Walking your right hand closer towards the ankle. Lift the left armpit up. Both legs are strong. Keeping the body here. Bend the left knee. Inhale, rise back up, warrior two. Left forearm, left thigh. Right hand front, your inner thigh. The left in the time. Taking your bind here first. Gaze down. So you lower the left hand inside the left foot. Once your hand is inside the foot, lift your chest up by pressing your right shoulder back. Maybe even straightening the left knee if you wish. Take the same variation as you did before. Wherever you are, let's bend into the left knee. Gaze down. Transfer more weight towards the left foot. Bring your left hand towards the top left hand corner of the mat. Hands onto the mat or block. Yogi's choice. Straighten the left knee as you raise the right leg up. Flex against the foot here. Sending energy beyond the heel. Keep the leg light. Lift the chest towards the right side of the room. You can choose to stay here or slowly come onto the fingertips. Maybe hand to your heart center. Stay here for the next five. Four, crown go forwards, right heel back, three, two, 
one. Well done. Left hand back down onto the mat. Bend the left knees. Gently touch down the right leg. Release the bind. Rise back up. Warrior two. Strong gaze to the left fingertips. Sweep the right hand. Right heel up. High crescent lunge. Once you're here, lower both hands down onto the mat. Take one step forward with the right leg. Spin the heel down. Turn your right toes to the top right hand. Call the mat. Again, warrior one. Leg first. Straighten the left leg as much as you can, square the hips. Right hand inside the right foot, left hand onto the waist. When you're ready, twist towards the left side of the room. Again, you can either stay here or maybe left hand up towards the sky. Try to elongate the spine as much as you can, straighten both legs, reaching the left hand up. If you did the bind previously, you can always wrap it behind your back, finding the front of your right thigh. One more breath here. Wherever you are, we're going to release your left hand back down onto the mat. Bend the left knee. Lower your hands towards the top of the mat. Hands on block. Transfer weight towards the left leg. Lift the right leg up. Flex the right foot. Square the hips down. Pressing firmly down to the right hand. Left hand onto the waist. Elongating the crown forwards. Right heel back. Then exhale, twist towards the left side of the room. Stay here or release the left hand up. Revolve half moon pose. Two more deep breaths here. Keep hugging your thighs in, keeping your right leg light. One more breath. Very nice. Lower your left hand back down, bend into the left knee, gently touch down your right leg. Inhale, lift the trunk back up high, crescent lunge, hands to your heart center, hook the right elbow outside the left knee, going for your twisted high lunge. Put the belly in. You feel that your twist is a lot lighter this time around, so try to lift the gaze a little bit higher up towards the sky. Keeping the twist, gaze down, one big step forward, big toes together, knees in line, exhale, sit deeper into the twisted chair. Keeping the twist, transfer weight towards the left leg, come onto the right big toe. You can even stay here or go for the balance, right heel towards the bum. Core is fully engaged for the next four, three, two, one very nice everybody lower your right leg down inhale and revel into your chair exhale to four inhale half lift long spine step back bend your knees plant your hands down step back high plank stay at chaturanga or inhale up dog exhale downward facing top very nice guys shake it out if you need to Two more deep breath here in Dower Dog. One more deep breath. When you're ready, big toes touch. Inhale, come up to the balls of your feet. Bend your knees, look forwards. Two big steps or one leg jump to top the mat. Inhale, half lift, fingertips on your shin or onto the mat. Exhale to foot. Inhale, root to rise, stand up tall, maybe add a gentle back bend. Exhale, hands your heart center. Very nice. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, sit yourself into the chair. Transfer weight towards the right leg. Inhale, lift the left knee up as you rise. Now, right hand outside of the left knee. Left hand reaching towards the back of the mat. You can either stay here, maybe gaze behind to challenge your balance, or maybe use your right piece finger, grab hold of the left big toe. Then straighten the left foot towards the top of the mat. Standing twist. Wherever you are, keep thinking of broadening the collarbones to the left side of the room. One more breath here. Stand tall onto the supporting leg. Alright, if you are straightening the left leg, release the foot. Hands to your heart center and revel yourself. Access to into your chair. Hands reaching high. One more time. Now we're going to pull your right knee up this time around. Inhale, right leg up. Hands your heart center, left hand outside the right knee, right hand towards the back. You can either stay here working on to find balance or maybe left piece finger, get hold of the right big toe, straighten the right leg towards the front, gaze towards the back of the mat if you can. Keep squeezing into the left and lift the left knee caps up. One more deep breath here. If you are straightening the right leg, release the right leg. Hands your heart center, inhale to chair, exhale to fold. Inhale, half lift, long spine, flat back. Bend your knees, plant your hands down, step back, high plank pose. Stay, 
Chaturanga, up dog. Downward facing dog is very neat. Once you're in your downward dog, keep pushing yourself back. Maybe this time lift your ten toes up. Two more deep breath here. One more deep breath. Lower the ten toes down, knees up, and tuck your toes. Exhale to child pose. <sighs> well done, guys. When you're ready, grow yourself right up to seated. You're gonna release the legs in front of you. Oh, shaking it up. Oh, well done. You're gonna bend your knees in, make sure your bum is in the center of the mat. Lower one elbow or the elbow, touch down the back of your hips. Okay. Once you're here, we're gonna set ourselves up for bridge pose. Hands at the body, palms face down. Make sure I even touch the back of the heels. If not, walk the heels closer towards the bum. Legs are hip width apart. Press against your palms and feet. Inhale, lift the pelvis. Low back, mid back, upper back up into a bridge. Think of the chest going towards the chin, chin away from the chest. You can either stay here or interlace your fingers underneath your bum. Walk the elbows and shoulder blades into the midline. Press against the arms, lift the hips up. Knees are going into the midline, engage the inner thigh as well. One more deep breath here. If your fingers are interlaced, release them. Exhale, lower the upper back, middle back, lower back, pelvis back down onto the mat. <sighs> Bring the soles of the feet together to touch. Allow the knee to peel away from each other. Supine butterfly. Hands can be either on top of the hip crease or grab opposite elbows above the crown. Or any arm variation if you know of. And close your eyes. Flowing down into the practice. Wherever you are, gonna slide your hands on the outside of your thighs. Slowly pull your knees back towards the midline with the help of your hands. Out your right knee in towards the chest, release the left leg down. Left and the outside of the right knee, twist over towards the left. Right hand shoulder level, palms face up. Exhale, lower the right cheek, anchor the right shoulders down. So pie twist. So this is a passive twist, so just allow the mat to support you. Allow yourself to release into the posture as much as you can. Give a nice elongation into the spine. Realigning the spine. And then extend your head back to center, release the right leg. Bend the left knee in, right hand out of the left knee, twisting over to the right. Left hand shoulder level, palms up, exhale, melt the left cheek, angle the left shoulders down. Legs in your head back to center, hug both knees in towards the chest. Grab hold of the feet on the outside, elbows inside the knee, peel the knee away from each other, happy baby. Shine the soles of feet towards the sky, then on melting the tailbone down towards the earth. You can choose to stay here. Or maybe you can rock side to side, if you wish. Coming back to center, hug your knees into the chest, curl up into a tight ball, tightening all muscles on your toes, your fingertips, fingertips and eyebrow for the next four, three, two, one. Extra shabasana. Leg mat width apart, toes pointing away, palms face up. Soften into the jaws, the spacing between your eyebrows. Close your eyes. Try to keep your body and mind still. Allow the body to absorb all the benefits from your practice.
I'm going to slowly bring them back to your body by wiggling your fingertips, toes, move your head from side to side, deepening the breath. Bending one knee at a time towards the chest, roll over to the right side of the body, head is resting onto the right arm, left arm in front of your chest. Keep your eyes closed until the end of practice. When you're ready, inhale. Gently push yourself up to any comfortable seated position. Once you're seated, inhale, reach your hands up. Palms touch, hands your heart center. A deep inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, side all out. Building the lightness in your spine, body and mind. Gentle bow towards the fingertips, thanking your body for allowing yourself to gain strength and flexibility both in your mind and in your body. Namaste. My name is Rachel. I hope you enjoy your practice. Any questions, any feedback, please let me know. And I'll see you again soon on your mat. Thank you.